Today, guys, we're gonna figure out the reason why my car doesn't want to start up. All right, guys, so you guys know me. I'm trying to get this car to pass smog, but it, this car is bringing every single reason to not smog for some stupid reason. It's always giving me problems. So, um, smog related things, I'm gonna go with like either OEM brand or Boss brand, which is, you know, pretty much just as good. Um, actually, Boss is like pretty much one of the recommended brands to use for BMW. Um, so I got the a Bosk DMTL pump because I'm getting a code for that. I've had that code for about a couple of days now. And then following up that code, I got a couple other codes. Maybe because the pump completely failed. I have no idea, but I'm gonna show you guys what, look, what the car is doing right now. And I'm gonna show you guys what I'm gonna be replacing um, in this video because I'm gonna be replacing it. I need, I need to figure it out. Um, I just got back from school, submitted my essays and everything. So I have a few days of leeway. So let's go ahead, start up the car, show you guys what it does. Um, it's not a pretty thing. All right, guys, so here is the M wheel installed, looking beautiful. Paddles, everything is installed. Airbag, new brand. This is a brand new airbag, by the way. So looking really good. Let's go ahead and start up and show you guys how it sounds. That is not a pretty scene. You guys hear that? I'm going to go ahead and turn it off. And then I get a check engine light. Um, yeah. So I'm going to go ahead and replace the DMTL pump. And I doubt that's going to fix my issue, but if that fix, fixes my issue, I'm going to be stupid happy. But as you guys can see, it, it would just keep trying to crank, but it will not turn over. Um, I'm not really sure. And unfortunately, since I can't get the car to turn over, I can't get in the garage. I'm going to be working out here. Uh, I'm going to set you guys up back here. I'm going to put some cardboard, lean, and you know, hopefully get this job done quickly. So let me just go ahead and show you guys what a DMTL pump is. Um, I'm going to go ahead and take it out of the box. Let me show you guys how it looks. I'll show you guys some pictures of where it needs to be. Um... But yeah, that's the pump. It's kind of like a white black kind of thing. It has like a couple of hoses you gotta plug in and then a sensor, um, the actual power cable. So I'm gonna go ahead and hook this up. This is the brand new one from Bosk. And uh, hopefully, hopefully, I'm please hope to God so I can install the mods that are behind this, which I showed you guys just a little gist right there. Um, I really wanna start, start installing some mods but this car needs to pass smog. So I'm gonna set you guys up and hopefully um, we'll install this pump successfully and get this car on the road. All right guys, so before I can actually remove the pump, I have to remove this. There's two screws holding it down. When I remove this entire thing, the pump's attached to it, um, you know, with a couple of hoses. You guys will see when I try to take this out, I'll try to show you guys um, what I'm looking at exactly. So this is what we were looking at. Um, if you guys look at it, so basically there's the DMTL pump attached to this bigger, I guess it's the air tank. I'm not really sure what this is. But yeah, there's, um, there was a hose connected here, hose connected here, hose connected here. And so it was three hoses and uh, the outlet. It's actually not that hard to take out. And the hardest one is probably the one that was attached to this one. It's not that hard. Um, so the only thing we have to do now is pretty much get these four bolts out. I mean, it's three bolts on the back and just plug in the new one. I mean, there's not really much to it. So uh, I'll go ahead and show you guys how to do that real quick. Sorry right, guys, here is the new pump right here by Boss. The only thing I'm missing is uh, a little piece right here. It's a little sponge I'm gonna take from this one. I'll show you guys when I actually unplug it. So I just went ahead and replaced the DMTL pump. This pump, I was getting an air for it last week and I had a service engine light for it, so it was a hard code. Um, so I did end up replacing the pump, plugged all the hoses back in. I'm gonna go ahead and start up the car. I doubt there's gonna be any difference though. I'm pretty sure I'm still gonna have an air and it's not gonna start up, but at least we fixed something that I had an air for last week. Uh, but if it starts up, it'll be a giant plus. I'm really hoping it, but you know, I'm, I, I, my hopes are not that high. If it doesn't start up, then we're gonna have to diagnose something else. I, I'm not really too sure why it wouldn't start up. Yeah, so, go figure. I mean, I kinda expected this. I'm gonna go ahead and clear the codes. Maybe that makes a difference, but I mean, Damn. I'm gonna be real with y'all. Kinda expected this. All right guys, so we just wanna roll out the fact that if it is a battery, I just replaced the DMTL pump, I unplugged the battery, we connected the battery, and now we're jumping the car. Hoping to goodness that it, at least we'll get something. If not, it's gonna still be bad news. But let's go ahead and try to start up the car. And I'll show you guys what it sounds like. It doesn't sound so good, to be honest. Yeah. So that doesn't sound so good. Okay. 
I'm gonna go ahead and run the codes one more time and let me I'll let you guys know what I'm getting. Guys, my friend is a genius. So my friend was like, sometimes that gauge lies to you and your fuel, like you're out of fuel. Like I, I guess there's something wrong with my gauge because he said just go put some just go put some gas in your car and your car will start running again. So I was like, yo, you know what? I'll do it, man. I'll do it. So he went ahead, picked up some gas, and the car is running. Luckily my fuel pump is not out. I was really getting kind of scared about that. Um, went ahead, put some fuel in it. And car is running like a dream. I know you guys can't see much. Uh, I actually have one small insuency problem. So I'm outside right now, I did. And whenever I open up the gas tank, here what it makes. <laughs> Do you hear that? It sounds super weird. All right, guys. So this is actually day two. So I had a couple of my iPhone clips saved in for you guys to catch you up with what's going on with the 335. So when I was driving it, I mean, I was able to get it to start up. My friend, I did... Uh, Told me that I just need to put some gas in it, start it up, and you know, see if that would fix the trick. It did actually fix fix it, but there is some weird pressurized sound coming from the gas tank. I don't know why. I don't know if it's the canister. I'm getting a code saying my DMTL pump's not working. Um, but you know, I ended up replacing the pump and it didn't do anything. So something seriously is going on with the car. This all happened after I took it to the shop. So I'm literally this is what I hate. I have to take it back to the shop and then they don't open till Monday, which is like four or five days from today. So I really, really want to keep uploading, but I can't. So I mean, in the meantime, there isn't going to be a video in the next few days because I don't want to post, again, useless content. But today's video, I'm not trying to make it three or four minutes. So we're going to record. Uh, my boy Ibrahim is over right now. Um, we're going to install a new diffuser on his car. And I think we're gonna be wrapping his roof as well. So we know we're gonna at least make this uh, Mustang look a little bit nicer, a little bit cleaner, because the stock ones aren't always the cleanest looking ones. So uh, yeah, we'll see how it looks once we finish it. But um, put this a little time lapse for y'all. All right, guys, so um, something that we realized is that the diffuser does need to be drilled. You know, we have to drill some holes. We're going to have to use some 3M. We're going to be doing some uh, some uh, some weird stuff to it. But we got to do what we got to do. We don't want to, you know, go ahead and return this, take a restock if you buy a new one. It's going to work. I did the exact same thing on my 330i, and it worked. So we're going to do it again anyways. We'll show you guys how to retrofit any diffuser into a car. That's if you guys that own BMWs are still watching because you guys are straight savages, and you just don't care about anything I do other than BMW stuff. Guys, that concludes the video. We tried adding as much content to this video as possible, but things kept on coming up. Unfortunately, the car has to go back to the shop. The car is here now, but I'm gonna be taking it back to the shop. Um, I'll try to see if we can try to do some other things. In the meantime, shout out to my brother for giving you guys some light. Uh, but yeah, in the meantime, I'm gonna try to figure out how to set up my stream. I'm actually gonna start streaming, you know, with the free time that I have. Um, because, you know, I tip, you know, everyone plays games here and there, but I wanna stream, so at least I, I, I stay connected with you guys, answer you guys' questions on my stream. But at the same time, I get to play some games with some of you guys and just, you know, just have some fun. So I'm, I haven't confirmed the date that I'm gonna be starting to stream, but I just wanna shout out Shane. So when I start streaming, I just wanna say shout out to Shane because he is the one that sent out the device that allows me to stream. It's a $200 device. Um, it's called No God. I don't know if you guys know any of this stuff. But anyways, he sent it out to me. So shout out to him. He, he gave me pretty much the ability to start streaming for y'all. So yeah, he's a good guy. And uh, that's pretty much the end of the video, guys. I mean, there's not really much to it. If you guys enjoyed this video, make sure to smash the like button. I get you guys an upload in a few days. So yeah, love y'all. Can't wait to see y'all. And uh, peace out, y'all. See you guys in the next one. She got me saying, Yalla, baby. I need you to see me. With the front and then put your guard down, girl. We know you ain't easy. She got me saying, Y'all love, baby. I need you to see me. Quit with the front and then put your guard down, girl. We know you ain't easy. You know, you're all.